The long-awaited update for Premiere Pro now has support for NRAW natively inside Adobe Premiere Pro. First thing you're going to do is come over to Creative Cloud. You're going to click on Beta, and you're going to need to download Premiere Pro Beta, as this is the only way to utilize this for now. And once you do, you can uh, open that and click on Import, and now you can see the NEV files, which are NRAW clips from Nikon. You can now import these into your uh, library here. And once we select the clip, we come over to our effect controls and you're going to click on source. And now you can see all of these adjustments that you have access to from the NRAW tab. So this will allow us to see the color space and the gamma curve. And you're going to be using red, white, gamut RGB and log 3G10. And because that, you're going to come over to Lumetri and you're going to need to use a red log 3G10 to rec 709 conversion instead of N log because this is using red's pipeline to get this color from uh, N raw. We're going to be utilizing the pipeline of red white gamut RGB log 3G10 to get into our working color space. Now we also have access to ISO settings so we can change our ISO which is absolutely fantastic natively getting this in Premiere Pro. We can change our Kelvin if we want to. Let's take a look at our scopes and see how that performs. Looks really nice. And then we can also adjust our tint. Uh, but overall, I think it's working really well. The output transform, you can use this. If you do not want to use a conversion LUT, you can come down here to color space, use Rec. 709 BT1886, which is the Gamma 2.4. And then you can use Red's own proprietary tone mapping and highlight roll off that they have set here. So you can have a very soft roll off with maybe low tone mapping if you want that image, or you can go really strong with high and then like a hard, I don't recommend that. Um, but overall you can see the point, but ideally I like to prefer to use Red Wide Gamut RGB with Log 3G10 and then come over to Lumetri Color and go ahead and use my base LUT for Red Log 3G10 to Rec. 709. This is great. Now we can use Enron natively inside Adobe Premiere Pro. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below.